Okay guys, well I hope you've had the opportunity now to add a few uh, products to your site. Uh, you're really starting to get the hang of this whole business with Shopify and how simple it is to, to add stuff in. So now we're going to look at variable products, which are, you know, as simple really, just a couple more things that you need to know. Um, and what I've done here is I've chosen this little guy, or these little guys, uh, these French Bulldog necklaces. Okay, now as you can see there are three of them, and they come in three different colours. We've got black, we've got gold, or possibly bronze, uh, and silver. Right? Simple as that. So that's a variable product, comes in three different variations. Now, I'm not going to go over again what, you know, my, my golden rules there in terms of deciding what to sell. But if you go over them, um, you know, refer back to the previous lecture if, you, if you're if you a little bit hazy or just need reminding, you'll see that this ticks all the boxes once again. So all I'm going to do is scroll down and grab the images that I want towards the bottom. Okay, I've got various ones here. Uh, and once I've done that, I'll see you over at the store and I'll show you actually how to add this in. Okay, so back on the products page and we can see the product that we just added, the simple product. So let's add another one. And in the interest of time, we're gonna call this the French Bulldog Necklace. And for the description, I'm gonna put, wouldn't you look fantastic in one of these great necklaces? Three different colors, quality link chain necklace, perfect for the French Bulldog lover. Right, let's scroll down a little bit here. Now we're gonna add in our images. So exactly the same process. I'm gonna grab my silver guy, my black guy, and my gold guy. Put all of those in, okay? And the next thing we wanna do is scroll past all of this because we wanna to go to variants. We're dealing with a variable product, okay? And in this case, our variations are, of course, the colors, silver, black, and gold. So I'm gonna click on add variant. Now, the name of the variant, by default they put in size, but actually we are talking about color. And for my option values, I just wanna put in those three that we're talking about, black, silver, and gold. Okay, so very, very straightforward. Now, all we need to do here is click on save, and then scroll down to the bottom here, because you can see now that it's laid out our variants very, very nicely. We've got black, silver, and gold. But what we want to do here is associate the right image with the black one. So click on this, take the black one, hit save. Same thing for silver, and finally for gold. Now for the price, just for demonstration purposes, let me put that one at 20, let's put this one at 23, and this one at 25. And you are basically done. So if you hit save here and scroll back up the top, we have everything in place for a variable product. Very, very quick and easy to do. Now if I click on view, let's see what we've got. We've got our black guy showing by default. Okay, I can now change this. See this, we didn't have this with the simple product. We didn't have this drop down box. If I change this to silver, we get the silver image appearing and note that the price has changed up here. And of course, if I go to gold, we're gonna see the same process again. So very, very easy. So once again, go to AliExpress yourself and add in three to five variable products into your site and start familiarizing yourself with the process. I hope you can see how simple and powerful it is.